Hold trigger. There we go. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. Uh, I got the Velez 29 out here at the park pond. Uh, today we're going to be kind of messing around with the strut position on this boat. Okay, I normally run it in line with the ride pads. Okay. Uh, I've actually blueprinted my ride pads with graphite epoxy. Uh, turned out pretty good. Uh, today we're just going to mess around with strut positions. Uh, I'm going to keep my battery position the same for every strut position. Uh, just going to watch the boat, kind of see what it does with different strut positions. This might help you guys out. I do this type of video for uh, the mono holes all the time, and I hadn't been showing this boat here much love. So let's get it. Let's freaking get it. Nice. We got the 100 C packs in. Okay, um, our strut position is basically uh, maybe a one millimeter. The bottom of the strut is basically one millimeter lower than the ride pads, the bottom of the boat. Okay, so let's give that a shot real quick. We'll check the, the GPS and then we'll lower it and then we'll raise it. You know, check the GPS in between. So it might be a long video, you guys. Got an Oxteen high rake on here. Might be a long video, okay? Get a. So we're just gonna kind of watch what the boat's doing, how it's running, kind of get a speed. I, I really don't, uh, I really don't mess with my strut a whole lot on this boat, or I haven't since I've had the boat. I just kind of do minute adjustments because I've had. I had uh, found a pretty good like prime location for my strut, so I hadn't really messed with it a lot. So um, let's see what she does here. All right, so she actually running good. Oh man. All right, so it actually seemed like the front of the boat was wanting to like push down with that low strut position. All right, and it seems like it's wanting to torque the boat over a little bit because there's so much propeller in the water, okay? So our next uh, position, we're gonna go down, like I said. So let's do one more pass here. All right, so she definitely, she's definitely, uh, like has some uh has some like prop walk to it with the lower strut so let's check the, t the gps and then we'll move the strut down i don't really recommend moving your strut down too much on this boat too like too far down below the ride surface um it just puts too much prop in the water it pushes the front of the boat down so we got 60 on that pass all right 60 miles an hour uh, the struts, it's it's basically in line with the, with the ride pads. You know, right now it's just a little lower than the ride pad. All right. So you guys see where it's at? It's basically in line with the ride pads, maybe a, like a millimeter lower. Okay. So we're actually going to go down. You know, I would actually, from this position, I would actually rather go up. To get better performance okay up like like up in here okay but we're gonna drop it down just a hair okay maybe um maybe uh two more millimeters let's go down a little bit more just to get just so you can see a difference all right so you guys hopefully you guys can see where it's at Okay, it's about two or three, maybe even four millimeters lower than the ride surface. Okay, and what this is going to do, it's going to put a lot of prop in the water. Okay, when you got a lot of prop in the water, it's going to want to, depending on which prop you got, it's going to want to pick the back of the boat up. Okay, and it's, and it's probably going to push the front of the boat down with a really deep strut position like that on this boat. So, it's going to keep the batteries in the same position. Yeah, it looks like it's wanting to push the front down a little bit and the back's raised up. So let's check it out here. You know, I do this for the mono holes. 
you know, I, I don't really do it too much for my catamarans here lately, so trying to help you catamaran guys out, new new guys. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so you can actually see it wanting to pick the whole the whole back of son of a bitch. Wanting to pick the whole back of the boat up. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Yes. All right, let's see what she does here. Same strut position. Yeah, it looks like it's wanting to push the front down and, and really torque roll the boat real hard because there's a lot of prop in the water. Yeah, yes, yeah, wanting to torque roll the boat real hard. All right, so let's check. That was two passes. Let's check the speed here and go up with the strut. Kind of like an extreme up. Okay, so we had, uh, what? I don't even remember what we had. 60? So 60 again. Okay, but the handling was... Uh, was terrible with the strut like two or three millimeters lower than the bottom of the boat so let's go let's go up with the strut all right I'm gonna go about two or three millimeters maybe four or five millimeters higher okay so you guys see how you can see the other sponson okay it's about three millimeters higher than the bottom of the boat all right let's see what that does now with this strut position right here with a you know you could you're running like a big prop say you got like a 17 16 like the stock prop that's on the boat you know and you want to run like a, a 18 15 or something like a bigger prop you can go up with your strut all right and it, it'll it'll be less propeller in the water okay the boat's running the struts higher so there's less prop in the water all right and uh, you can run some big props with a high strut position on this boat the the blackjack 24 you know if you wanted to run the velez prop on the blackjack 24 put the strut up higher than the ride pads okay and you can run a bigger prop all right so let's see what we got here Oh man, night and day. Oh man. Night, night and day. Night and day, boys. All right. So it's a little higher than the bottom of the boat. This is an Oxdean high rake, like a 42 millimeter prop. I really don't need to strut up this high, okay? But watch how it runs now it's actually running really good dry look at that real dry and it didn't flip in the turn man it didn't want to flip in the turn less prop in the water wow i can wow that's good nice damn we might be able to do some ovals with it like this nice it has a different sound there's less blade in the water with a high strut position okay so what do we have like 60 61 first couple runs there let's see what we did on this one it actually was a clean run it wasn't porpoising it was like on point okay damn i just ripped my jeep my, my velcro up Sixty-seven. All right, sixty-seven, and we've been getting sixty-one. Okay, so that uh, 
the little bit higher strut position get less prop in the water and we had best better speed okay um and and, and that was actually less less boat in the water too it wasn't wanting to torque roll over because there's so much prop in the water with a low low strut position okay so it's it's pretty high it's pr pretty high probably uh three three or four millimeters higher than the bottom of the boat i could actually hear it on takeoff just now uh the prop flopping not catching water so let's see what happens higher than the bottom of the boat well damn that's actually the best it's rained all day higher than the ride surface Wow, it's actually not torquing the boat over so bad. Okay, so before I had a lot of prop in the water, it was wanting to torque the boat over. Now I got less prop in the water and, and it's not, you know, less prop in the water so it's not grabbing the water so hard and torquing the boat over. Like I said, if you're running a big prop, you can run your strut position high, higher than the ride pads and uh, get a pretty good ride with a big prop. So let's, let's check it out again here. Nice. <laughs> I knew I was going to flip it. <laughs> it's just a lot of work out here, you guys. Putting struts up and videoing and editing and listening to dogs bark over there. 72? Damn, that's the fastest I've ever been in here. 72. 72. With a, with a freaking Oxdeen prop. My best with the boat is 81 at the speed run spot. Damn! All right, so hopefully this helps you guys out with your with your Velez or any catamaran. I mean, this basically applies to any any catamaran. Okay, it's actually my best in this pond with this boat, 71. My 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 PB in this pond with this boat before was 69. My all-time PB is 81. Uh, so with the higher strut position, uh, it actually let the boat run drier okay less prop in the water less drag and um yeah man it actually handled pretty good pretty good with that higher strut position and it'll probably cool your electronics not so much drag not so much prop in the water you know so you might have a little cooler electronics oh there goes my damn gps how you doing <laughs> all right so uh so yeah yeah hopefully this helps you guys out hopefully it helps you out with your with your your catamaran you know uh I, and i'll try to do more catamaran tuning videos like this here shortly <laughs> we'll see you guys next time big b with ironclad rc uh don't forget to like the video if you like the video it helps the videos get out to a broader audience you know more people in the boat gang thanks for watching so those of you who stuck in here this freaking long okay uh you're hardcore you're freaking hardcore kudos to you because i'm hardcore too uh hence the reason why my videos are always so freaking long because i always want to talk about my boats i'm always finding different things on my boats that i want to show you guys so um so this was my strut position i got it on my setup board right here this is my rigger setup board this is my strut position on the boat are you guys are hardcore like me i freaking love it i freaking love it so this is a bonus for you guys okay for hanging in here all right I'm putting my file under my strut, okay? She's sitting flat on a flat top, all right? Put my file up under it. She didn't want to flip in a turn as bad, okay? That's how high I got my, my strut off the bottom of the boat. That's how thick this file is, okay? 2.4 millimeters off the bottom, off the flat surface, okay? All right. Granted, my boat is blueprinted, okay? Uh, and that actually does change things up for my boat compared to a stock boat. But uh, it's basically basically the same thing. Okay, don't be afraid to go higher, higher than the ride surface. All right, you guys are hardcore boat gang for life, baby. Boat gang for life. We'll see you next time.